Aloha and welcome to 2022. Well, guess what? We just started the new year and January 2nd is the new moon. And this new moon is really the start of, like I've been saying in my past videos about we're entering into the revolution and when i say that is because we're coming to a point where it kind of all, all started back in 2017 and when i say that is because that's what is like the start of <laughs> the quantum leap it's where we kind of feel that A lot of things of ourself has changed since 2017, and this is gonna last all the way till 2024. And when I say that is because there's things that sometimes we all can't explain and people sometimes say what is she saying well you know i've been in this this thought frame this world and sometimes i do have guidance from you know some other ways and a lot of us you know don't know where i'm coming from sometimes when i say certain things you know i was looking back and i remember this one person that came by and I was working, that's why for me is I started doing with dogs because dogs are so much simpler, so much easier to communicate and so much gratitude and unconditional love that they give to us. And so 2022 is a time that's gonna start like I said before in my past videos in 2021, to get us prepared for the next three years. And when I say that is because it's gonna be really a time where it's gonna be really shaking up, really shaking up to make us feel very uneasy. And we can all say that's, we experienced that feeling in 2020, 2020. And during 2020 and 2021, it was really a time where we really start to understand ourself, our health, and really started our consciousness start to kind of really kick in because there was a very uncertainty of many, many ways on how we saw 2020 coming in and so now really for 2022 is really the strength in all of us and i can go more into that but going back to what i'm saying is is that we're at this place in our life that is either the old ways or the new ways and the old ways is really a lot to do with government control, how the system was controlled, and all of a sudden everything start to unveil. So many things. And it will continue to unveil because they don't want the some of some people don't want it to change because they're so comfortable in what it is. But as we saw the con where a lot of people don't want that they don't want that control and so they took it upon their own hands to start to rise up that they never thought they would be in such an arena where they talk about how they feel how they see things and how we move 
and sometimes some people are very very uncomfortable in taking position as for their own power their own power their own control and how they feel and so really in order to make this transition go through in the next three years we have to get familiar on what is going on and for me is i'm very very fortunate because i've been trained for the past i don't know how long but it just came to me it's not like i went to seek it it came to me and i'm like okay i don't know why i'm here or what i'm doing but i have to go with the flow and it's really about trusting the process yes it was scary yes there was a lot of unknown and yes sometimes i like i felt like i was in alice in wonderland like why am i doing in this temple in japan <laughs> and so sometimes you don't even know why you're there but it's there for a reason and there is always if you go there and feeling the fear that takes over your consciousness and say i gotta get out of here before you could experience on what you was there for then you miss out the awareness and so for me is I use no judgment, no nothing, and it's, well, of course, if I'm gonna be kidnapped and I'm, I know I'm gonna be, you know, that's another whole different story. But what I'm saying is, even in your everyday life, you can be in a meeting, and you're like, "Why am I doing over here for?" Or you can be at, you know, going on a date and saying, "Why am I doing with this person for?" Or all of a sudden you get invited to go to some kind of seminar and you're sitting there and you're like, why am I sitting over here? God, this is boring. And it's like, this is so weird. This is so... And if you start going like negative and start thinking all of that and not paying attention, then you lose your reason why you're there, your opportunity. Because sometimes... It may be an opportunity and sometimes it may be a waste of time and so you have to make that judgment call which is called consciousness and so these are the important things that we need to remember for the next three years is really go in it with with it from the heart because if we let our mind and our mindset move our cheetah which is our monkey mind and start thinking and we overthink a lot of things then paranoia is going to come in a lot of negative energy a lot of doubt and so that's going to make you stagnant and just want to stay there where you could be having that opportunity to be awakened and feel from your heart and just let that butterfly feeling go like uh oh why am i feeling this way and then when you feel this way you just hit some kind of trigger point of unknown excitement and so give yourself that time and that opportunity because if you don't try you will never know and so that's why it's so important that this new moon that's coming up well it's here on the 2nd of january and i always say make sure you give it three days of this moon power because sometimes we're not ready for it and we're not ready to write our intention and that's why i kind of say a little hint 
on my other videos to prepare yourself. And so I'm gonna make different segments and not long videos because it's a lot to take in and I do talk a lot and so the way I'm going to kind of reorganize my talk talk story is to kind of give it a little bit of segments on how that we need to work on so that way you guys can take it all in write down your new intention because that's what the new moon is all about so i'm just giving you what's coming up in the next three years 2022 2023 and 2024 because we're going in this big huge leap even though you're like what is she talking about stay tuned and subscribe to my youtube so you can look at my past videos and you know i've been doing this since 2006 and it's been a while that i started doing these youtube videos because i get this calling from my guide my guidance of energy saying hey go out there and talk about it because there's not that much people that comes out and talk about it we may feel about it but we, we may feel that we're very uncertain in how it feels let me tell you when i first started feeling this way and i was very young <laughs> very young like maybe about geez five six seven eight years old i it you know and my mom knew that, uh-oh, okay, we got to pay a little bit more attention to this one because I come out of saying things from left field. And it is what it is. And, you know, before I was kind of, just kind of kept it within myself or within my friends and people like that. And some of them know. And they're... You know, it they kind of sometimes makes me feel uncomfortable. And sometimes, you know, it just didn't feel right. But in the past, I have been very, very, very fortunate to be able to connect to a lot of these other people who I can share with. And they can just understand, like, yep, I know what you're talking about. So... Anyways, I'm just here to get you more familiar on what I'm doing and you can like I said subscribe because I've been chit-chatting for a while about this and and also giving tips on my YouTube on doggy care as well too. So we'll continue in my next video more in details about the new moon. So stay tuned. Get ready for the first new moon of 2022. <laughs> and can you believe it? It's on January the 2nd. What great numbers it is. And don't forget to write your new intention and subscribe wherever the button is. Take care, stay safe, and most of all, happy 2022. 22 for the new year because it's going to be a bumpy ride and i'm here to give you some guidance to make you feel a lot better for our journey our ride of life aloha